Hey Sag, thank you so much for coming to your monthly reading. It should resonate Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. Um, um, with that being said, let's just hop into your reading. And I am going to say I've been uh, meditating on the energy and shuffling these cards. And I want to say this before any cards come out. I feel like this month is going to be a good month for you. A really, really, really good month. For some reason, I feel like um, you and your partner may be at a distance for those of you guys. However, you're building this connection between your world and their world. And I feel like there's a level of flow between you and this person. And I feel like this person and you both accept one another. There's something of acceptance. Um, there's, there's something here where I feel like this person makes you say, yeah, let's do it right? Fuck it. Let's, let's see each other. Like there's something here that's very worth waiting for. And I feel like this person, um, feels like things with you and them are ascending to a different level. But I also feel like for you, you're finally getting what you need. Um, which is different. I just feel like right now what you and this person are creating, it's, it's something like you're building something. You don't know where it's going. However, it's very magical. And also there's a lot of curiosity and wonder and learning about what the fuck is going on between the two of you. And I just feel like right now there's something here about you being connected to them, but also understanding that your connection, this is a connection that can't be forced. This is one that's very natural. This is one that develops and it's made with love. Um, because if it's not, then the structure isn't going to stand right between you and them. So again, I feel like there's a level of acceptance. I feel like there's a lot of magic between you and this person. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like that's because the communication between you and this person has been off the hook, off the chains. And it's something I feel like you've been waiting for, for a period of time. Fucking beautiful. Um, okay, let's hop into it. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Sag and the person of interest? The Fool? Look, it's just like, I'm just listening to music. I'm on my merry way. I like where it's going. It's something new. It's something refreshing. What's um, Sag's person of interest? What's, 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 their, um, what's their energy like romantically? Person of interest, Sag's person of interest. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you may be dealing with a Sag another Sag, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or even a Scorpio, because that's what's on the Wheel of Fortune. How does Sag feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Sag feel about this person of interest romantically? The Emperor, some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. What's the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation between Sag and their person of interest romantically? Okay, death. There is a transformation. I'm going to be honest. I feel like death is like the ending of waiting. Like there's a wait that's ending. Yeah, I, I feel like that. I know that that sounds crazy. But remember, okay, so before I even pulled these cards, I already told you what I felt like the energy was. So you guys can see based on the cards that come out that it is legit. What's the best potential outcome here between Sag and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome here between Sag and their person of interest romantically. Woo! Okay, past life relationship wants to come out. Passion. Yeah, Sag, I'm telling you, like, I'm excited for you guys too. You know, Sag is a Gemini sister sign, so I'm over here like, yeah, get it. I love it. I'm here for it. I feel like this is a new love coming in. I really do. Like, there's something here about that. I don't know why, but there, there's, there's a new love coming in. There's also a lot of healing that's being done this month, maybe over family issues. Um, okay. So overall energy, we have the fool. This is a very new type of relationship. This is a new start. This is a, a new phase. Phoenix is here. Um, this is a renew. So for some of you guys, if this is somebody from the past, you're revisiting the situation 
And this time there is a level of transformation. Hello, death. You already know Scorpio is all about transformation. Here's what's crazy. Today it's a full moon in Scorpio. Hello. Guess what? It's transforming <laughs> the darker aspects of our life. So this is all making sense to me. Um, because there is something that has changed your mind when it comes to this. Like there, there's something here where there's a level of growth and change. Why is the fool here for the overall energy? And this is Pisces or Aquarius. Woo. One more time. Why is the fool here? I feel like somebody's done fighting the connection. Like they're, they're tired of pretending like it's not there. Why is the fool here for the overall energy? For the month for Sag. Okay. We have the devil with the page of swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. What's the energy of this devil? I feel like there's a lot of conversations. Okay. Here's what I feel. I feel like you're having a new start here, but I feel like it's because there's an ending. You're cutting something out that's been toxic. It's something that's not been healthy. It's something, Mercury and Gemini, it's it's something that it's just been too much, like way too much. So there's definitely an ending here to whatever toxic uh, toxicity that you're attached to. And now it's a new start because how does, um, how does, Sad to feel about it. Look, here you are, page of wands. You're like, I'm on my journey. But there's something new here. It, it's, it's ending an old relationship that I feel like there was a level of codependency on. And now it's moving towards something very healthy. Chariot, Cancer, forward movement. It's also um, an ending where I think it happened quick. And now there's a level of forward movement. Um, even traveling, this may be somebody... Um, like I know in the United States, and for those of you guys that are in different countries, um, I don't know what it's like there, but a lot of the bans are being lifted from the virus. So maybe that's why there's, there's a sense of traveling here. Um, and it's something I feel like you've been thinking about, but hold on, let me refocus. How does Six of Cups wanted to come out? How does Sag feel about this forward movement with the chariot? How does Sag feel about this? The Ace of Swords. There's a level of clarity. I feel like you also know on the Nine of Cups. With the Eight of Wands. It's communication coming in, and that's Mercury and Sag. There's communication coming in, I feel like, on something um, that is going to end. For some of you guys, I feel like there's more than one person here for you. And it's ending something with one and then also starting something very quickly with somebody else. Or it's ending that toxicity with them and then there's something else coming for. Because there's something here that you're waiting for. What's one more card that you want me to tell, Sag? Be patient. Yes, be patient. There's something here in the works. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Four of, um, or two of pentacles, that is uh, Jupiter in Capricorn. So what they want me to tell you is this month, it's a month to get really organized and focused on exactly what you want, because I feel like this four of wands is coming in. However, what they want me to tell you here is there's something very practical and realistic, and it's a doer type of energy. So it's about planning. It's not necessarily about like reacting super quick, but it's about planning things out. There's something here about planning a visit out, planning on seeing somebody. There's some type of plans here. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune for your person. So obviously there's a level of expansion here. Um, King of Cups. Okay, so if you definitely are dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or a Leo, what do you want me to say about this King of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? Something's changed with this person. What's changed? The Five of Wands. I feel like they don't want to fight anymore. I feel like, too, with this Five of Wands, I feel like sometimes, like, we fight just to fight, right? And that's Saturn and Leo. So there's something here where this person is finally balancing out their ego, 
there was a lesson that happened definitely here, I feel like. And there's a very cautious and controlled sense to them. Like, like I said, there's something over here that's controlled that has to be planned out. This person is in that process. I also feel like too, um, this very egocentric or bossy or rigid type of energy, that's no longer there. I feel like that's flipped. It's now reversed. One more card for what's changing with this person. What's changed with Scorpio's, or not Scorpio, hold on. What's changed with Sag's person of interest? What's changed with Sag's person of interest romantically? Page of Cups. With the Hierophant. They've been thinking a lot on what to do when it comes to you, what's right what to offer, what to give. And it's interesting because how does Sag feel about this? The sun, very happy. I feel like this person confesses to you. I feel like they there is an expression of love. There's the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Gemini, Ace of Wands. There's an expression here where they're like, I wanna see you. I, I wanna see where this goes. There's something here to that. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. Um, he's having, I don't know if you guys can hear him. Oh, now he stops. Um, sorry about that. What's the overall energy for Sagittarius person of interest romantically? The overall energy for Sagittarius person of interest romantically. Okay, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation. See, I feel like here's what's changing. I feel like this person is finally dropping the mask where they pretend like they don't give a fuck. And I feel like there is something here where there is an ending to something. And now there's a level of growth between um, the two of you. Because there's some type of healing that takes place where this person is making healthy choices. One, one card here, please, for their overall energy their overall energy, Sag's person of interest. Heart with the key. Meeting the one, opening your heart, getting back together, perfect. How does, how does Sag feel about this ending here with this coffin? How does Sag feel about this ending with this coffin here? How do they feel about it? You feel good. Stability, security, growth, endurance, and flexibility. I feel like this person had to end a current situation before they could move forward with you. Now that that's done, I feel like that happens. You're going to start receiving what you want. That's, that's what I'm getting heavy. So how you feel about them is the emperor. I want to say this though, for the men that are watching this um, reading, this is because it's viewed as more of a masculine energy, it's more so probably flipped. So this is for the more feminine energy. And I want to say this, feminine energy, usually there's a masculine and there's a feminine. Granted, we both have both, but there's usually one that peaks mat, like more of a masculine one and more of a feminine one. That's what creates this connection usually. And I don't care if you're the woman or the man or the woman, woman relationship, man, man. The person that is a feminine energy is viewing this person as the emperor, viewing this person as very stable, very attractive, in control. Um, there's a very hopeful energy around it. There's Aquarius. There's something very unique about this person, um, how they think, how they handle things. I feel like you don't know a lot about what this person thinks about. But it's crazy because um, this person is just very focused on structure, okay? Three of Pentacles. And how does this work? How do we make this work? Let's talk about Six of Swords, Mercury in um, Aquarius. There's a lot of mercurial energy here, okay? So I feel like this month is really about communication. It's about a level of unpredictability, I'm going to be honest. And it's going to be a very exciting and fun month. I do feel like um, there's something here about, how do I explain this? 
there's something here about you being able to adopt to most to 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 the situation. Something here about being um, adaptable, I feel like. And it's interesting because there's something very attractive here that's a very light. It's a very like witty type of energy, but it's very stimulating. And I feel like even though you're having these ups and downs, it, it happens when either this person isn't engaged and for you, communication for some reason is important right now because when there's a lack of communication, it causes a level of instability. That's what I think. How does Sag feel about their person of interest romantically? One card here. The dragonfly being, uh, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, things changing. You see, I think that there was a level of clarity on your situation, on your relationship. I feel like, Sag, you were the one that was a chaser. Um, and there was a fear here that you were going to lose this person. However, I don't think you should be worried about that. I'm going to be honest because there's something here where there's a level of, of, of clarity. There's some, there's a truth that's being revealed here, but for you, there's something about healing and, um, adapting and change this month. It's change. Like that is maybe I should write that shit down for your overall. Let me do that now before I forget. Hold on change. That's your overall, um, energy. It's communication changes everything. Okay. So as a situation, we have death. Like I said, there's an ending. There's a transformation. What's transforming here? The Ten of Wands. Okay, that Saturn and Sag. That's understanding that there's a level of ethics here. That's doing the right thing. That's playing by the rules. That's having a very independent yet ethical approach to it. It's also to being looking at things in a very optimistic view. What's ending? This going back and forth. There you are again. Temperance. Ending of the waiting. It's also too, for me, it's an ending of a third party, I feel like. Because what's transforming here in this situation with Sag and this person? What's, what, what's transforming here? The Sag and this person of interest. What's transforming here for Sag and their person of interest romantically? What's transforming here? Please, one card for Sag and this person of interest. Three of Cups, communication, Cancer, Mercury. What's transforming? What does this mean for Sag and their person moving forward romantically together? Things are going to move very quickly, I feel like, for you and this person. Um, I feel like this person is going to want to be close to you. There's also here about a completion or a cycle being completed. Receiving a level of information and also having closure in whatever you're waiting for. It's coming. It's it, it's like the wait is over. What do you want me to say to them? How, how does Sag feel about this transformation? One more time. How do they feel about this transformation that they're having? The high priestess, the king of wands. I mean, now you have the king and the queen here. Holy shit. And there's another king. Hold on. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, you have the King and Queen of Wands. Here's the thing. I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's somebody that's walking away from a marriage or a relationship or a partnership. And now this person is focused on you. But honestly, too, I feel like you guys may have more than one offer here, too. I think Gemini had that where they have hella kings and I was like, okay, well, you already know Gemini has multiple people going on, but I feel like you may too. What do you want me to say to them? What, what's the last thing you want me to tie this up with? The Ace of Cups. Yep. There's a big offer coming. It's one that you've been waiting for. It's one that you've been fighting for, one that you've been curious about, but that is coming in. 
So I'm going to leave that here because we're going to figure out what the fuck is coming in in your extended, okay? Because you do have soulmate. So obviously something beautiful is coming in or soulmate. I'm sorry. You have passion, allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy. I know that kind of seems a little cliche, but there's something here with that. And I don't know. I mean, Sag is a lot of passion. So that makes sense to me. Okay. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.